What was it like to go from being one of the guys in the field to competing for a win every week? It was scary. Was it? To be honest with you, it was scary. Um, I remember when we got our, my first win with them, and it was at Martinsville. You know, you, you, you don't realize how much pressure is on you until you got Kel Yarbrough driving and Junior Johnson and, and Herb Nab at that time calling the shots. Because um, Herb left in 77, and that's when they brought in Travis Carter and Tim Brewer. But when, you, when I first went there, that was very intimidating because you didn't want to let them down. You know, and, and when you worked on the car, you know, it made you more uh, accountable and responsible for what stuff that you were supposed to be doing and checking. And, and it was just a, a constant uh, reminder that you got people here that this is how they make their living. You know, they're, they're racing for a paycheck, and that's how I make my living now. And so how you perform is a direct, you know, correlation on how you perform. And here, you know, I got there at the end of, the, of, you know, the first year that Kale won his championship. And I remember, you know, going to Daytona in, in uh, February. And that's when they crowned their champions in. And everybody from every series that NASCAR oversaw or were a part of them, they gave, it, they gave out their, you know, the year before trophies. I never forget there, sitting there at that long table and, and being a part of that and how, you know, it just kind of, my head was spinning because, you know, winning races and then at the same time being a part of a championship and then realizing once you got one, you want another one and then you want another. And uh, I don't know, it's just – it's one of those situations that uh, when I stop and think about it, I still – my head kind of spins because everything was a blur the first few years working there. 